Hello! In this video I would like to show you how to make such a round puzzle. It consists of four parts, they are removable and fixed with velcro. Here is the bird puzzle, but today's project is fish puzzle. You can choose any image you like, in principle the process is exactly the same. You just need to customize your image to this template. So, let's start. We will need a set of Korean hard felt, the thickness is 1.2 mm. Blue felt for the main background of the puzzle. Gray felt for this part of the puzzle. I call it lining. purple, yellow and red for the fish parts, green one is for the sea plant, for the bubbles I am going to take a white felt, for the back side of the puzzle we will need some cotton fabric. Fusible web, medium weight sewing interlining as 80 to make my puzzle stiff. Velcro, I have a soft one from AliExpress. For the stitching, I am going to use an invisible nylon thread on the top and since I am using grey felt for the lining, I will take grey thread for the bobbing. For the fish eye, I will use these googly eyes. Now the tools we will need Circle cutter Scissors Rulers Rotary cutter Erasable pen five o five temporary adhesive spray used to bond fabric. It holds the fabric in place, no crinkling, does not gum needles, no strain fabric. And we will need a template. All the information about the materials and tools you will find in the description below. So, let's begin. First thing we need to do is to print out two copies of the template. One of the copies will be used as a sample. Then, cut out the pattern pieces, like that.
transfer the details of the template to the felt using an erasable pen and cut them out. Let's prepare the background of the puzzle. According to the template size, I need a piece of felt 19 by 19 cm. So, put the marks and cut it out. Place the sample on the background and trace it using an erasable pen. Now I need to bond all the details. So, it's time to show you how the temporary adhesive works. And there is one thing you need to do before starting. I have covered the top of my table with a piece of newspaper, because I do not want any of the overflow of the spray to go on my sewing table or anything else. Lay the details right side down. Shake it well. Hold can about 30 cm from the surface and spray lightly. Then, one by one, I attach the details to the base of the puzzle. And press sprayed surface into position while adhesive is tacky. A fish fin, let's put aside, we'll attach it later. Once all the details are attached, secure the corners and the sides with tape. Mark the center, use the cutter to cut circles of the puzzle. I will start with the small one. Set the radius size. Then gently rotate a circle. This is what I got. Now 
We need three Velcro loop pieces, sizes 3 by 3 cm, and three Velcro hook circles, diameter is 2 cm. At this stage, a piece of Velcro hook needs to be sewn on the smallest circle of the puzzle, namely on its lining. The rest can be done later. Apply the small circle to your lining, trace it, mark the circle center. Then attach the velcro and sew it on. Secure the thread tails. Now spray the back side of the detail with temporary adhesive and attach it to the lining with velcro. Well, now we need to sew all these details together. Starting point is here. As I said before, I will use nylon thread on the top and grey thread on the bobbin. Sew slowly. Sewing around tight curves is easier with the shorter stitch length because the machine moves the fabric under the press of foot more slowly. Okay. Now we've got the first circle. Secure and hide the ends of the threads. After that, cut off the excess. And yeah, the first detail of the puzzle is ready. Repeat for the second and the third circle. Spray temporary adhesive. Put the detail on the lining. Sew all the details. Hide the ends of the thread and cut off the excess.
Now, the last piece of the puzzle. Put the template on top of the lining and trace it using an erasable pen. Then, spray temporary adhesive on the wrong side of the fourth piece of the puzzle and put it on the lining matching marks. Stitch them together. Leave the edges of the detail open and trim the lining. Cut it slightly smaller than your piece of background. Like that. Now we need to attach the rest pieces of Velcro to the puzzle parts. The small circle already has one. Mark the center on both sides of the detail. Apply the loop part of the velcro on one side the hook side on the other and stitch it hook side up in this way Secure and hide the ends of the threads and cut off the excess. Attach the loop side only on the first detail. Let's put the whole puzzle together. Okay, fine, looks great. Now let's prepare the back side of the puzzle. So, I have already cut a square of sewing interlining SAT. It is slightly bigger than the puzzle. Press the fabric to remove any wrinkles. Apply the interlining and trace it using an erasable pen. Now I would like to stick it onto the fabric using a fusible web tape. Yeah, it's the only one I've got at the moment. 
If you have one with some special paper backing, it would be much easier and faster. So, what I'm going to do is to cut the fusible web into pieces. Put them close enough to each other. Place the backing paper over it and press until the fusible webbing melts. Let it cool and remove backing paper. Then place interlining backing paper over it and fuse with a hot iron. Cut out the detail leaving about 2 cm on each side. Fold four inner edges of fabric and press it. Once you're pressing two sides, take the corner and fold it up until each of the two crease lines that we created earlier match up with each side. Press it. Again. Fold these two sides in such a way that the two edges meet at the center of the corner. Press it. Use fusible web to secure the folds. Put it between fabric and interlining. Then press it with the iron. Well, our back side for the puzzle is ready. At this stage I'm going to add my logo to the project using a permanent fabric pen. Now we need to apply these two details together. And stitch along the edges all the way around. Secure and hide the thread tails. The last step we need to do is to attach the fin and googly eye. As you can see, I have stitched around the fin edge. So, and you are done! I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe. If you like my work and are interested in helping me to go on at it, you can pledge as little as $1 per month to be my patron. Thank you for watching. Have a good day! Bye!